Hi guys, Kevin here, and welcome back to another build episode. And last episode we made this, it's on the screen right now. It's a 370Z, it looks absolutely clean as fuck, and it drifts pretty well, pretty powerful, so do watch out when you do floor it, etc. Uh, but it is pretty slidey, and it slid pretty well, so that's all good. And now, I'll be back in a second. I am going to go choose a car right now that you guys commented last episode, so... If you want to see a car next episode, leave a comment on this episode saying what car you want to see. If you see someone with the same comment as you're going to put, uh, just thumbs up their comment. The one with the most thumbs up, I will do. So I'm going to jump into the car that I will be tuning and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have an RX-7. A pretty mad car. Um, it was the most thumbs up on the last video, so it's going to be fun to do this. Uh, obviously, at the moment, it's not very slidey. Um, as stock, completely stock. Um, it's not got the power to kind of push itself around corners. Um, but, very, very, very good drift car. I can't wait to upgrade this. I don't know, don't know what power to put this to because obviously it is a very light car. Um, especially when you upgrade it on this game you know, with like weight race uh, reduction and stuff like that. It's going to take it right down. Uh, but let's jump into the garage and hey there, chuck the upgrades up? on this. Uh, so we're going to go custom upgrade, uh, conversion, I'm going to stick with the stock engine, I love the um, the rotor, uh, the two rotors should I say, because uh, you can put a four rotor in, um, but I'm not going to do that, it's a bit over the top, uh, it gives you 690 horsepower and we really don't need that, uh, you can put a 6.2 V8 in it, but I'm going to stick with the standard two rotor, uh, very nice engine, twin turbo, so yeah. Okay, drivetrain, all wheel drive, we don't want that, no. I don't know why I always look in drivetrain, because I already know this car is real drive, but I still look in it. Like, it makes no sense, but yeah. Okay, single turbocharger. I don't feel the need, uh, we've already got a twin turbo, so that will be fine. Um, aero and appearance, you can choose whatever you want on this. Um, I do like the RX-7 with stock body kits, but do you know what? That C-West one looks very nice. Um... Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's do the Sea West. I think it's called Sea West, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I always get confused by their logo. Uh, I'm not going to put a wing on it. I like the RX-7 D wing, so that's cool. Sea West rear. Uh, looks okay. Yeah, I prefer the Sea West rear bumper. So let's do that. Chuck that on. Uh, side skirts. Don't like any of those, to be honest. Um, how ridiculous does it look without? Ah, um, uh, it looks weird without though. Uh, let's go see west. It. I don't like any of those side skirts to be honest. Um, but yeah, you got to make the choice at some point in life, huh? <laughs> uh, let's just put the the John or June or John. Um, Bonnet on. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Tires. I always stick stock tires. A lot of people like to go street uh, tires, but on this game, it just works so much better for me if I just keep stock tires. I can just slide the car better. Uh, there's no really competitions on this, so yeah. Like if I was on fours or five, I'd be tuned in to enter a competition or something like that. Uh, but this is moving around a lot. Look how much that's moving. It's never normally like that. Um, I could get through this episode. I think I'm not gonna change that, um, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's no real competition that I'm gonna enter on this game, so this is just mainly for fun. You know, so I went up one upgrade on each of the tyres, uh, just to give a tiny little bit more grip. Um, wheels, you can choose whatever wheels you want. Uh, I kinda wanna murder this out. If we go all black, like with some black rims or something, I think that'll look pretty sick to be fair. They look pretty sick on it. Let's go with those. FKSC SE, sorry. <laughs> Profile 5. So let's go with those. Uh, I'm going to make those black in the paint section. Uh, but I'll leave them as they are for now. Okay, so let's make this a tiny bit bigger. Let's, uh, does that look ridiculous though? Kind of looks a little bit too big. Okay, let's just go 17s 
Don't want to go too big. Uh, let's just go the first upgrade on room size, uh, which is 17. It's okay. So that's that done. Now we're on to the good stuff. Um, a lot of people, uh, they do different things on uh, drivetrain, but what works for me is I just go race everything. Uh, people do like sport uh, transmission instead of race. Uh, but race works for me, so I don't see the point of actually doing anything different when it works. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it race, uh, race differential. So everything in drivetrain was just race and go for that. Okay. Platform and handling. Race brakes. We want to stop the car. Ogs. Those red calipers look nice through those wheels. Not going to lie. Um, race suspension. This will help. Oh, yes. Like that. Okay. Anti roll bars. Um, don't know what to do on anti roll bars. Um. Should we go race? Race anti roll bars, there we go. Okay. So both anti roll bars, race, strut race. Roll cage, how does the roll cage look in the back window? Basically, I normally do strut braces if the roll cage looks terrible. Like to me, I like my cars quite stiff, so even with just the strut brace, it's stiff enough. But with a roll cage, obviously, it's a little bit stiffer. Uh, but I normally do it just off looks to be honest and that looks very nice in that rear window not gonna lie uh, so I'm gonna go for that uh, weight reduction race weight reduction for me so that's 1000 kilograms that's really light for a race car or drift car should I say um, okay so how much power I think around 400 mark uh, around that uh, so if we do race air filter and race exhaust just for the sounds uh, Camshafts. Nope, because it's a rotor engine. <laughs> okay, rotors and compressions. Okay. Mine just fully dirt then. <laughs> okay, 371 horsepower. Uh, let's put that on. Intercooler. Let's just go race intercooler. 385 horsepower. Oil and cooling. This should take it just over. There we go. 401 horsepower. Always aiming around that. I'm just going to chuck on the race flywheel just because reduce weight. <laughs> And that's that. So let's jump out into the free world right now. Oh, I forgot to paint the wheels. Shit. Oh well. No, I could do that now actually. Uh, I'm just going to paint the Dude, wheels quickly. Come on in. How can I help? Um, I haven't painted on this yet, I don't think. There we go. Paint car. That's what we want to do. Here we go. So let's make those black. Maybe a little bit of tint. We don't want to fully black it out, but maybe just a little bit. Just to add to the blackout effect. There we go. Save the current car. So we've got a blacked out RX-7. It looks pretty, pretty deadly. Not going to lie. Deadly, bro. Come on. Save. How long does it take to save a paint? There we go. Okay, let's jump out of here. And let's go into the free world. See how it drifts as standard. Um, as standard tune, should I say. Because obviously it's not standard. Pretty tuned up right now. So... That rear bumper looks a little bit funky. Uh, so it's sliding. It's got the power to slide. Uh, where can I go? Obviously, uh, this little town called Nice. Very nice area to drift just anywhere. Just quite literally just session corners. Um, it's really struggling to get the rear out at the moment. There we go. It's out. <laughs> okay, so the engine sounding sounds fucking amazing I'm drifting in gear 2 I hate drifting in gear 2 uh, but gear 2 feels perfect in this uh, so I will have to adjust that I don't know why I just got a thing against drifting in gear 2 the thing with Forza Horizon every single car you make like a drift car they feel absolutely amazing without even tuning them uh, so it, it's like if you tune it a bit it does actually affect the car a little bit more so Sometimes it's just best to leave the cars there how they are. Uh, but I won't leave this one. I will do a little bit of a tune to this. But it does feel very nice as standard. Uh, sorry, that was a very long straight road. <laughs> like, there's just no corners. Very nice. Very nice. I like. Okay. Let's just do a tune quickly anyway. Um, so we want to head to cars and tune car. There we go. 
Okay, so that was, it felt pretty nice, like the tire pressures felt okay. Maybe just drop the front a little bit more to get a little bit more responses, uh, responsitivity in my wheel. So I can't speak. Um, let's make the acceleration a lot, lot better. Uh, shortening the gears, just so I can use gear free, basically. Um, camber felt, like, the car felt okay, so I don't want to adjust it too much, to be honest. Uh, let's keep the rear as it is, but the camber on the front I will take up a little bit more. Uh, let's just go like 1.8. Uh, Toe I will leave the same. Car still come up a tiny bit. Uh, I like my car's pretty stiff. I know this is the anti-roll bars, but I still have those quite stiff. I'll keep them... Um, i keep the front a lot stiffer than the rear. Uh, it seems to work for me. Obviously this tube might not even work for you, but... You know... It might work, it might work, um, but who knows. Uh, basically, I, I don't really adjust the car if it feels nice. That's why I always test the car before I actually start tuning, because if it feels nice, there's no point actually tuning the car that much. Uh, so there's only a little, little, little tune going on here. Uh, I've got to lock the differential, though, get a little bit more, a little bit more spinny-spinny on those rear wheels. Okay. Let me just turn up the volume in my headset quickly. There we go. Okay, that was the worst entry ever. Okay, so Gear 3 still struggling to get some spinny spinny in the rear wheels. Want some side? Ah, let's shorten the gears a lot more. Oh shit. Nope. That, that's what I want. <laughs> that's what I want! Okay. Where are they? Where's the gears? Went right past it. Okay. So let's just take this right up. If it goes too far, then I will drop it back down. But let's just try 4.74. I've uh, gone quite ridiculous there. but We're still hitting 90 miles per hour in, in gear 3, which is pretty insane on Horizon 2. Uh, I used to tune my cars with Forza 5 to hit about 110 in gear 3. Obviously the rain's come out now, so it will be a little bit more slidey than normal. Uh, but it does feel a lot better. Thank you, you put your lights on. I was struggling where to fucking go. Okay. Any nice corners anywhere? Oh, we got a roundabout coming up, mate. Oh shit, I thought, I thought it was like a mini roundabout. I didn't realise it was so big. That's what she said. Oh my god. Struggling then. I was absolutely struggling. There we go. We got we got control of the car now. Ah, oh, I've lost it. Okay. Obviously the rain's not helping right now. I mean, it does very weird to normal, I'm not going to lie. Um, probably not the best area to practice in right now, so I'm just going to quickly fast travel. Takes like 5 seconds. Um, let's head over to this industrial area. Because why not? Okay, let's just fast travel there. $6,000 dollar dollar. Yeah, buddy. Dollar 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 dollar. Chicken dollar. Alright. Oh, look how sweet that looks. Pop up headlights, what are you saying? Okay, so now we're in the industrial area. This is where we can start testing out gear free a little bit. Uh, trying to get it... Got a little bit unresponsive then. So maybe maybe tyre pressures in the rear can go up a bit. Yeah, because it's, it's not even spinning up. And these gears are incredibly short. It's quite crazy. Okay, so tyre pressures in the rear, I'll take them up a bit. And camber in the rear, I will go up as well. So. Let's take up the front in the same proportion, uh, but obviously we've got a lot more, a lot more camber in the rear. Uh, so about there is fine. Let's just let's try and get these wheels spinning up nicely. I don't want to, don't want to struggle with gear three. I want it spinning up very nice. Very nice. No, don't hit me. There's the whole fucking area. Thank you. Okay, so it does drift very nice. It's a very, very stable car. 
Uh, but in terms of gear three, that, that's the map. Like, you could stick with the standard gears and just go gear two. But I just have this thing to be in gear three. Like, it's just the personal thing. Uh, so if you just stick, um, stop gearing and just drift in gear two, you'll be absolutely fine in this car. Um, but if you if you can't drift in gear three, uh, in gear two, like me, because you're an absolute weirdo or something, uh, like me, then. I'm going to slowly work to get gear 3 working right now, but we didn't bog down that time, which is all good, uh, but obviously it is raining, so I don't know if that's going to affect the slidiness of this actual car, and how easy the tyres are actually spinning up. Um, yeah, this car's feeling very stable sideways, incredibly stable sideways, which is a good thing very good thing, it feels very planted, it feels like the tyre sizes are fine, it feels like you've got enough grip in the front, which is all goody goody. No! Oh no! Okay, so it's not really spinning up in gear 3 there. So I, I'm, like to be honest, I'm being an absolute tit. To be honest, I should just get uh, drifting gear two. Uh, but I'm gonna work this car to drifting gear to, uh, gear three for me uh, off episode because it will be a very long process of getting the right gear in, etc. But in terms of the tune, it is pretty much spot on right now. Uh, you can just choose whatever gear in you want. Just um, adjust the final drive basically uh, just to get it to whatever you, you feel comfortable in obviously I'm a weirdo and I, I want to drift in gear 3 uh, but yeah you could drift in with, uh, gear 2 it will drift in gear 2 absolutely fine uh, just don't change the gear in from stock and it will be absolutely fine so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, obviously the tune was throughout the video so just check out the tune uh, slap it on your car this car will also be on the storefront with stock gear in so if you guys want to download it off the storefront uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment saying if this car works for you maybe it won't work on um, on controller but who knows hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and I'll see you guys next time